What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, you guys, I'm going to simply walk you through lead capture. Bottom line, how do we run a Facebook ad to a landing page? Okay. Um, this right here, you guys, is, is really all there is to it, man. For majority of you guys that are watching this video, you guys are in some type of business where a lead or a scheduled, a scheduled appointment or a sell is what you're looking to do, right? How do we run Facebook ads to make one of those three things happen? Lead capture or to get someone to schedule an appointment or to even make a sell, right? Those three things, you guys, that's really what it all comes down to. People that are running Facebook ads are really ultimately trying to achieve that goal. But here's the problem. After speaking to thousands, literally, man, I'm, there's no exaggeration on this. After speaking to literally thousands of local small business owners, okay, I've been doing this since 2016, focused on one niche, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, and then realize that the same strategy applies to every business. If you're a local business, you're looking to do something online. You're looking to run Facebook ads. You're looking to capture leads. You're looking to make sales. It's the same strategy. It comes down to the same ad. And so after speaking to thousands of agents, real estate agents, real estate brokers, local business owner, whatever, after speaking to so many, the number one thing, there's two main things that I hear, okay? Two main things. And you guys, I'm telling you, man, I'm giving you game right here. I'm saving you so much time on having to figure this stuff out yourself. After speaking to so many of these people, there's really two main, main answers that I would always get back. When I ask the question, have you ran Facebook ads? Or do you know how to run Facebook ads? There's only two answers that I've heard literally thousands of times. And one answer would be, yeah, David, I ran an ad, but it really didn't get me anything. Um, it didn't really net me what I thought I was going to you know, get, which was a lead. At the end of the day, a damn business owner is looking for a lead, right? So answer number one, I would always get, yeah, David, but it just didn't work. I didn't see any leads come in. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what happened. That's always answer number one. And then answer number two is they'll say, yeah, David, I boosted a post. I spent 15 bucks and ran one back in January and I'm talking to them. It's freaking April and they ran it for four days back in January. So the second answer that I always get back is, is the fact that yes, they tried it before and then they just shut it off. They ran it for a few days and then they shut it off. I'm telling you, man, thousands and thousands of times I've heard this, those same two answers, man. And so here's the deal. I'm going to walk you through the basics. I'm going to really show you how, what it takes to capture a lead using a landing page. Um, this is what you have to do. If you're not doing this, you're not going to capture a lead, bottom line. And so what I've always experienced and what I've seen is that when, when, when you come into the ads manager and you click that green button, create, and the way you get to the ads manager is come to your, your page, click on create, come down to add, and that will take you back over here to the ads manager, okay? This is where everyone gets it wrong. Nine out of 10 times, this right here is where people get it wrong. They'll have a video. Let's say, for example, they're promoting their business with some type of video. The objective is to capture leads, right? But they'll come in here and they'll choose video views, which is obvious and seems logical, right? If it's a damn video, video views. But video views is not going to allow you to achieve your goal. It's not going to capture you capture leads. That's not a lead capture ad. It's a video view ad. So you're literally paying Facebook to run it and get thousands of people to view it based on your budget, obviously, right? Thousands of people to view it. That's exactly what that is. It's not lead capture. Um, a lot of people will do engagement and they'll post, they'll post it, they'll run an ad and they'll do it under engagement. And all engagement is, is engagement. So you're paying five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, whatever it is to get people to engage with your post. And I always tell people, I'm like, dude, I don't really like that. I don't really care for that because I don't want to have to micromanage my comments. I don't want to have to be glued to my phone all damn day replying to comments. Like I need to automate this. I need to systemize this. I need that person to click go to a page, enter their information, receive an email, and I want all that to be automated while I'm on some island butt naked chilling. Like I don't want to be lifting a finger, right? And so engagement is lifting a finger more than I, more than I want to. 
and it's micromanaging the, the activity that's going on with that specific ad. That is engagement. People like it, people comment, people share it. You're glued to your phone trying to reply to comments coming in and trying to turn these people into leads. Like I think it's, I think it's a joke. Um, traffic, traffic is when you're, when you're driving people to your, to your landing page, but at the same time, that landing page better be top notch because if, if you're not, if, if I'm not convinced the moment they land, the moment you land on that page or the moment I land on that page, then I'm gone. You're literally paying for traffic to a page and that's it. Very vague, right? Very, very vague. Um, but the traffic consideration, that's, that's also good. It, it is, it is good in the sense where you want to at least warm up your pixel. You want to at least get Facebook to know who your audience is. So if you're targeting a specific audience and you're running under traffic and people are actually clicking and getting to your page, but for whatever reason, they're not opting in, at least Facebook is learning what types of people are landing there. So you can then build up that pixel and even create custom audiences of people who are landing there. They may not have opted in, but at least they landed there. And so it, it at least allows you to build an audience, build a custom audience around people that are landing there. So therefore you can start retargeting them again. So traffic would be good to, to build the audience and retarget in the future to collect data of, of, of interested people that have not opted in that you can build an audience around and continue to retarget. But again, that's not really going to achieve our goal. It's not going to get us right now what we want, which is a lead, right? An opt-in, a purchase, whatever it may be. Um, that's not really going to happen with, with traffic either. Brand awareness, not going to happen. Reach, not going to happen. So messages, if you want, if, if, if you want to do messages and, and set up something like ManyChat, that's a whole other freaking ball game. Like ManyChat is, is really confusing to me. Some of you guys, you know, are freaking nerds at it and really good at it, right? But ManyChat is super, it, 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 me personally, it's confusing. And I hate automated messages anyways. So that's why I never, I hate receiving message ads, message ads I hate, and, and I hate automated messages. So maybe that's just me. That's just me. That's why I don't run messages. Lead generation, that's when you don't have a landing page. So this video is going to be based on running, running an actual ad to a landing page. That's what this whole video is about. That's not going to happen with lead generation. Lead generation is when you don't have a landing page. So if you don't have a landing page and you want to use Facebook's lead form, you can use lead generation. The only reason why I, why I don't use lead generation, because then you got to integrate Zapier and now you got to pay for Zapier. You can use it free for so long, but then you got to end up paying for it. Zapier is an integrated third party software that talks to Facebook. So when leads come in through this objective, Zapier then connects that lead or transfers that lead to your CRM. Therefore, you don't have to physically do it because if you don't do some, something like Zapier, and let me pull it up for you so you guys can at least you know read about it and, and know about it. You want to, if you're going to run lead generation, you definitely don't have to. Um, um, implement this or integrate this, I should say, look at the pricing. So let's just go straight to pricing. Let's just get straight to it because now we got to pay for this and we got to pay for our email autoresponder and we have to pay for, um, yeah, I mean, shit, if you don't have a landing page, then, then, then what I'm saying is you're running lead generation, but then you're also paying for Zapier. So Zapier can take that lead automatically and import it into your CRM or your autoresponder. Right. So I just look at it where it's like, okay, if I'm going to pay for Zapier, I might as well pay for a landing page software that comes with my email automation and my calendar. So it's like, that's why, that's why I use Kartra for everything. There's a 14 day trial in the description, profit with Kartra dot online. I'd rather just pay for that because it comes with everything I'm going to need calendar, email automation, and my landing pages. I'd rather pay for that than have to pay for Zapier just so I can run lead generation ads and have it automatically transferred over for me for me because if i don't use zapier if i don't use some system like this look starter 20 bucks a month right it's like dude and that's per month billed annually so right now or 20, look dude it's 25 bucks a month dude 24.99 for 99 dollars a month i use kartra so it's like dude that's why this zapier it's a joke to me and that's for lead generation so if you don't use zapier then you have to physically 
download that lead. So when you run lead generation, leads that do come in and lead generation is a simple forms. Let's see if we can actually find one. It's the simple ads where when you click on it, a Facebook form pops up. You've guys seen it a million times. I'm sure you clicked on different ads. Um, I don't want to waste too much time on this part. Let's see if I could just find one. Here goes John. He's taking me to a landing page for sure. He's not using lead generation, but let's see if I can find a random ad that takes me to that's a download. Yeah, it's taking me to a, see nine out of 10 ads. You guys are taking me to a landing page. Okay. Nine out of 10, but you do have that one out of 10 that's running lead generation and yeah, see, take me to a landing page. You do find that one out of 10 that's running lead generation and using a simple form. So let's see if this guy is. So landing page, everyone's taking me to a landing page. So um, let's see if I can, King Kong, this guy, take me to a landing page. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You click on it and then boom, a form pops up in front of you. That's a Facebook form. That's a lead generation. But again, if you're not using Zapier, let's try to click on one more. Yeah, landing page. So if you're not using Zapier, a third-party integration software like that, then when you collect that lead, that person clicks on the ad, a lead form pops up, that information is put in, that lead is then in your inbox. It's in your Facebook page, I should say. You'll see it over here on your Facebook. Let's go to... Um, the Facebook business page real quick, you'll see that lead over here in your business page. Okay. So if we click on, if we click on more, um, let's see if I'm pretty sure it's under publishing tools. Um, 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 yeah, right here. So lead ad forms, you'll see that lead over here. So if I'm not using Zapier, then I have to micromanage this part. Then I have to come in here, download that lead, and put it into my CRM. And you better have some type of CRM. If you're running ads and capturing leads, you better have some email automation on the back end to nurture that list. Bottom line, without that, you don't even run an ad. Like that's what I'm saying. I use Kartra for the landing pages, for the email autoresponder, and for my calendar, and for many other things like my membership course and all that stuff. But it's mainly landing page, email autoresponder, and your calendar, right? Because again, if it's not for Kartra, you're going to have to use three different softwares to do all those three different things. So with this, again, I'm going to have to download that lead and then upload it to my CRM, right? And, and with my CRM, with, with most of the CRMs out there, email autoresponders, you're spending about a hundred bucks a month just for that. And those of you that are on some free software like MailChimp, you're only on it for so long. Like after you've crossed 2000 leads on that, for example, you got to start paying. So, that's why this right here, I don't really do lead generation at all. But again, you'll find a few people that, that do do it. Um, and so at the end of the day, you guys, it's all about conversions, man. You have to get a landing page software and start running conversions, okay? So a landing page software allows me to just build simple landing pages. Here's a landing page, for example. I'm going to show you an example with this and how we set it all up. Here's the opt-in page, okay? So here's what it is. Let me just get down to the details we're running conversions. So 9.99999% of the time out of 10, you're running conversions. If you're looking to capture lead, make a sell, schedule appointments, you're running conversions, okay? But here's what has to be set up first. The ultimate goal when it comes to your page, when it comes to a simple opt-in, you have the landing page, and then when they opt in and put in their information and click on download now, then they're taken to the thank you page, right? This is what we call the thank you page, the confirmation page. This is the second page. Here's what's super important. So if you guys are taking notes, here's all you need to know. Conversions is the one we're gonna go with, right? But we have to set up a custom conversion before we do it, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come up here to the dots, we're gonna click on events manager, and we're gonna set up a custom conversion around the thank you page, okay? If I asked you, let's say you're a business owner. If I asked you, hey man, what's your goal by running Facebook ads? You would tell me to capture a lead. And what you would also think that it's all about getting people to this page, your landing page, 
which it is, right? That's the goal, right? To get people to the landing page so they can then opt in, right? That's the goal. When it comes to conversions, Facebook wants to know your ultimate goal. What is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal is to capture a lead, right? Therefore, our ultimate goal is to get people here. The goal is to get to, is to get them to the landing page. The ultimate goal is to get them here because anybody who lands here filled out the form is my ultimate goal. So how do I get people here? Right? That's what Facebook wants to know. And so Facebook wants you to set up a custom conversion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the link. I'm going to grab the URL right here. And you don't need the HTTPS. You could just grab the back end part, but grab the whole thing. Okay. We're going to copy that. And then we're going to come over here to the events manager and we're going to click. We clicked on the three lines. We clicked on events manager and then make sure you're in the right account right here where it says open, hit that drop down. make sure you're in the right account. And what we're going to set up is a custom conversion. Okay. This has to be set up first. So you click on custom conversions. You come over here to the blue button. You click on the blue button right there. And we're going to let Facebook know, Hey, this is the page that we look that we're looking to get people to. Okay. So what we're going to click on is we're going to click on hit the drop down. I, we can go with contains and we're going to simply paste in that URL. Okay. And we're going to go all website traffic, no page view event detect. You'll need to add page view event to your pixel. Okay. Yeah. So the pixel isn't set up on this one. Um, this is a, this is a, a brand new account that I just set up. So if there was a pixel on this page, you want to add your pixel. In fact, stay to the end of this video. You'll see a video come up at the end on how to install your pixel. That needs to be done first. Okay. The pixel install your pixel. Um, I forgot that this is a new page. This is a new account and the pixel is not on this page. So, okay. So install the pixel first. And then once you do that, then you paste in that URL right there. And then, and then right here, I can name it. I can name it. I can go with, um, 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 let's go with buyer lead buyer leads. Okay. Bottom line. Cause that's what it is. Buyer leads. And then, I, and then the category I'm going to go with lead and there's different, different, um, um, options. So based on what you're trying to do, what you want to do is you want to create a custom conversion around these few things, add to cart custom conversion, um, even initiate checkout, initiate checkout could be a custom conversion lead custom conversion and purchase custom conversion. Okay. Those are in an even schedule. You can even build a, a custom conversion around schedule as well. And that's pretty much it, but for sure lead and purchase. So with the purchase, for example, I go to your webpage. I put in my credit card information. I click purchase that next page that you take me to that. Thank you page, that confirmation page. That's what you're putting right here. Okay. So you're, you're taking that URL, you're pasting it in right there. And that could, that could be an actual, the category would be purchase. So now, now, okay. And then, and then you can add the value if it's a purchase or again, I'm, in this case, I'm going to leave it under lead. Now, again, the pixel needs to be installed. That's the only thing missing. That's the only thing that's going to stop us right here. Once you click create. Okay. Once you click create, now you have a custom conversion. And that would show right here. Okay. That's going to show right here. You'll see that new custom conversion. And again, it's all based around this thank you page URL. Okay. Here's what you do next. Then now that we have our custom conversion set up, now we can run a conversion ad. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We come back to the ads manager. We click on the blue, on the green button. Yeah, I should have set up the pixel on this page, but again, that, that's not what I wanted to do. So stay to the end. You'll see that video on how to install your pixel. So now I'm back in the, in the dashboard, right? Click on the green one. Then I can come over here, hit conversions. Now it's time to capture leads, you guys. Now it's time to capture leads using my landing page. And if you're in real estate or if you're, in, if you're looking to hire people or if you're in credit, make sure that you choose one of these categories because if you're a real estate agent and you're not checking this box, your ad will get rejected. Okay. Or if you're in employment or credit, 
your ad will get a, a rejected. So housing, let's say for example, we're a real estate agent, we're looking to capture leads, we got conversions. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit continue. And in the ad set, this is where we tell Facebook, hey, I'm looking to drive people to this conversion. I'm looking to optimize for conversion. Here's the page I'm looking to drop, uh, take them to. So we come over here and then boom, right when I hit that drop down, I would see the conversion that I just set up, okay? So whether it's purchase, whether it's lead, these are all in here by default until I activate one of them. But it would be, let's say for example, it's the lead one. I just set up a custom conversion. I, I, I set it up under lead. That's what I would go with. So I would, I would choose that lead and then I would just come, come down and finish setting up the ad. Very, very basic, you guys. Very, very simple, but I'm telling you, if you're not going with the right objective from the beginning, that's what's throwing off your lead capture. That's why you're not capturing leads. Either you're not building custom conversions and you're not choosing conversions to even begin with. That's the number one thing that I, that I see with local business owners and, and small business owners is I already know they're trying to capture a lead, but the moment I bring them over here to the green button and say, hey, what objective did you go with? They went with video views. They went with engagement. They probably went with lead generation. And, and that's, why, that's why I'm saying, man, if you're going with lead generation and you don't have a landing page, okay, great. You better have an email automation, an email autoresponder set up on the back end. Because as these leads come in, yes, you're going to physically upload them to your CRM, but it's that CRM, it's that email list that you better be building. Because you're paying for the lead up front. You better maximize it and 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 try to squeeze the most you can by nurturing the list, okay? People are coming to your page. They're giving you their name and email. You better hit that name and email on the back end, and that's your email autoresponder, okay? So if you're not sending out emails, if you're not nurturing that list, if you're not building a relationship of people that are actually opting in, you're, none of this stuff's going to matter. None of this stuff's going to matter. That's why, again, lead generation, you better be micromanaging it or you better have some type of third-party software like Zapier um, to transfer that lead automated you know, without you having to lift a finger. But the best of the best, you guys, the best marketers out there, 10 out of 10 of them are running conversion ads to a landing page, okay? So that right there, you guys, is how you do it. Conversions custom conversion and then driving it to a landing page and building everything around the thank you page url okay and, and remember you don't need to put in the https it's just that back end part of the url that's what the custom conversion is based on okay so hopefully that helped you guys and again i use kartra for everything um for the landing pages i can build as many landing pages as i need to um for the actual um, um, email autoresponder. So I use that for my email automation, um, for my calendar. And here's the thing, man. Don't estimate the power of email marketing because in that email, just like in your ad, in your ad, as you're running a Facebook ad, an Instagram ad, a YouTube ad, there's always a call to action, right? There, there's a call to action. Click learn more. Click download now. Click freaking whatever. That call to action button, that's the call to action in your ad, especially if you're doing video, even if you're doing image, even if you're running image ads, there, there's a call to action in, in, in your text, right? To click the damn button. But as that person clicks the button and they come over to your landing page and they enter their name and email, now they're on your email list. And again, that's our email autoresponder. In those emails that start to go out, okay? there better be a call to action. And so with my call to action is always my calendar. So there's always the ability to schedule an appointment because that's what I've been doing, right? Building an agency, closing clients, onboarding clients, social media marketing services for clients. So as I'm capturing leads, my emails are going out, building the relationship, building the rapport, keeping my name top of mind and emailing, right? Emailing on a weekly basis, that list, right? But in, that, in those emails, the call to action is to get them to click and schedule an appointment. So those of you that are real estate agents, if you're running an ad for a listing, if you're running an ad for an open house, if you're running an ad for um, any buyer or seller, right? 
the person gets to this page, they opt in, but a large percentage of those people are not going to schedule an appointment with you right away. They're not even going to want to talk to you right away, especially if they don't even know you, especially if you're running ads to a cold market and you're not even building custom audiences and you're not even retargeting. These people don't know you at all. So the, 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 the ROI is not going to always come on the front end. The front end is getting that opt-in. The ROI is not always going to come there. Your ROI is going to come from the back end when you're nurturing that list. So again, whether you're going to do it through email automation or you're going to do it through, through messaging like ManyChat and, and you're going to set up a, a, an automated messenger or you're doing it through text, which you're not going to do it that way because not many people are going to come here and give you their name, email, and phone number. Like who, when's the last time you put your phone number into an opt-in form from a person that you never even freaking saw before? Like you're not giving up your phone number at all. So these text automated platforms – they seem cool, but that's not, that's, it's, it's not effective at all. Email remains King Kong, and, 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 and it's only because people are willing to give up their damn email for things that they're interested in right away. Like, they'll give up their email all damn day um, to, to stuff that they're interested in, right? So it's the email automation. It's that back end where you're, you're either going to get people to, to, to buy your products or you're going to get people to schedule appointments. That's really what it comes down to is that email automation. So your email automation better be on point. And, and I use Kartra for everything, for the, my landing pages, my email automation, my calendar. There's always a link in my emails to get people to my calendar to schedule an appointment. So that's how you run ads, you guys. That's how you run Facebook ads to a landing page. Again, build the custom conversion around the thank you page and then get, and, and, and continue to drive traffic to this page in hopes of getting people to this one. All right. So hopefully that made sense. You guys conversions is where it's at and I'll see you guys on the next video over now.